Looking through paintball magazines all the time, I'd always see teams called the, uh, you know, I'd see Pete Robinson and Ray Farmer and, and Dave Stewart and Ashley Wright and all these you know, players and, and Nam Wrecking Crew and Predators and Shades of Grey. I started playing the game back in about 85, 86. Uh, we started on a survival game site in Billericay in Essex. And it, it literally was like a dream for me to be on one of those teams, one of the top teams in the world. And every day that went by, I was always just pinching myself, uh, feeling how lucky I was to be on that team. Uh, Pete Robinson, known as Robbo, as you all know, and his brother Mel, and a few of their friends started playing on the site quite regularly, was asked if we could uh, produce a site team. So we got together with Pete and his brother and the rest of the guys and decided to form a 15-man team. Uh, we kept the name originally that Rob came up with, the Nine Wrecking Crew, and that was basically the start of that paintball team. We're a bit slower, a bit older, but when the game of paintball's out there, we were, we were, we were clicking. A really proud moment for me um, when I was playing, when I first got into the game, now I'm one of those top teams at the pro level in the UK, travelling across to the US as well, getting great results and they were a team I looked up to and it's been a real honour to play with them. I'm Steve Sampson, known as Samo of NWC Paintball. Steve Cox, uh, I live in the United States. So Rob Johnston, Nam Wrecking Crew. I'm uh, Trish Hewitt, I've uh, been playing for Nam Wrecking Crew for, well, since 1994. Hi, my name's Steve Pitt. I uh, started playing for the Nam and Trish asked me to when I was 17. Okay, my name's Dino. I started playing for the Nam when I was 18, 19 years old. My name's Lee Honda, uh, I started playing with the NAM in 92. I'm Wayne Burrows, um, I've been playing for about 34 years. And my name's Charlie, um, I've been on the NAM for 18 hours and 4 minutes. Over the top. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Gazza didn't
a sensational event, been really great just to get all the old lads back together, uh, see some old faces, see some old faces from other teams too, but generally just to see the, the boys go out for dinner a couple of times has been sensational. A, a nice game when we played the Turks, when, I, when we beat them, you know, um, so I had a, had a great game myself, bunkered the last guy and got the flag back. Really good to see with the other boys, really good. Didn't expect that we would do, I think as well, <laughs> a little bit presumptuous, but we did better than I thought we would do. Didn't embarrass ourselves and I've really enjoyed it. It's been very enjoyable. Playing with the boys again and knowing that, yeah, we can still do it. I'm really glad we played the Turks. They um, they were a, a good team and they've been back on the scene for a couple of years and be able, to be able to beat them was, was a very, very pleasing result. So yeah, that was good. Wayne, what's the time? And here we are, many moons later, and I've just played for the first time in about 20 years and thoroughly enjoyed myself. And meeting all the old guys and the new players that are playing in the non wrecking crew and having a smashing time. Yes, on his arm! On your ass, buddy! Oh! Oh! I'm out of here. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't expect out of that was to get to meet a, a bunch of guys that now, 20 years later, I would be taking a trip from the States back to England again to, to meet up with them to play. A, an unlikely event where most of us haven't played in the last 20 years. One of us, Doug Setters, was, is 74 and played in the tournament with us. So it's, it's been, um, I don't know. Up until this point, a once-in-a-lifetime event, and now we're talking about doing it again. So I just feel really lucky to have, have been able to be here and, and do this.